Hey guys, welcome back to Connor's channel here. Um, so today I just want to give you guys a brief update what I've done to this tractor. If you haven't seen this tractor in several months, now I've shut her down from the um, summer season, spring and summer season of um, mowing and hauling stuff around, mulch and stuff, and doing major projects with this thing. Um, this thing has gotten me through a lot this year, uh, a lot of work around my property and all the houses I maintain, and all in all, this thing's been a workhorse for me this year, and it will become a workhorse in the winter. So I got this snowblower on, and I, I reviewed this thing last year, and it was over here, and I was talking about... Um, you know what what I did to it and how um, that all went down but last year for the snow learning tractor was a fail it failed um, because there was multiple things that were wrong with this snow blower um, there's more modifications I had to do to this thing and it was just a, it wasn't good it was not a good year for this tractor or the snow blower um, it's, it was a great year for the tractor this year this is the second second um, year I've had the snowblower on, um, on this tractor. So it'll be. A, I hope it's going to be a good year with this thing on the front. Um, so this is what I did to it. Um, I'll just give you a kind of a short introduction what I did to the snowblower or the how I fixed fixed a lot of things on this thing. So first of all, the gearbox down here. Um, this is a different gearbox. I ordered a different gearbox um, uh, from eBay. I think it was... Uh, uh, I'll give you the card. I have a card up here. And I recommend this for everybody that buys vintage garden tractor parts. Um, um, here you go. Just look at that. Hurley's International Cubs and Parts. Buy and sell over 100 stock parts. You got their phone number. So this, and you can pause the video and just take a picture or do anything you want. But anyways, um, that was that. I, I, I get every part for this tractor. Everything I order for the tractor has been with them. The only thing I haven't done is chains because I'm getting chains next. And that's what I'm going to tell you about next. Um, but I got the gearbox from them. Down there, I got a pulley from them too, and I got a, a brand new, brand new OEM pulley for this tractor. And I put it on, and I got a belt, belt same one as last year, hasn't changed. Um, the engine uh, has got that pulley on it. I adjusted, and I got this part for your your belt tightener, um, and it goes straight down to the pulley. There you go there. And then now, that's that. And I adjusted it how I wanted it to. And then I got washers. And I put them on. So I've made some modifications to this thing. Because this is actually um, a QA36A bracket system. Which the brackets go here to here over this column over the steering, this, the turning, the chute. And on both sides, I don't have that. You know, what happens is, is that will slide back and forth and cause the gearbox, you know, it's not a good situation with that because that's, now it doesn't slide back and forth. Now it, it, it goes just fine. So now um, there's nothing wrong with this thing it, it fully functions properly um there'll be another video which i'll just show you this snowblower running um but yeah it should show you in action in snow um so yeah that's basically it right there um i haven't done a lot of things to this thing the only really thing i've done is this headlights headlights on this thing now that are, are bright i did the tail light tail lights on this thing or tail light 
as you can see, hidden all the, by the crap back here. Now, this is a weight system that I did. This, <laughs> you can tell, yeah. I did this weight system. And you can see, yeah, I need to fix that. Other than that, it, it's fine. It does what I need it to do for now. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really it with the weights and the chains that will be, I'll be doing that here in the next week or two. I'll be getting the chains on and getting them ready to go for the winter. Now I do not currently store this thing in the garage. I currently store it in my shed on my property, but you know, it's, it, I want chain, I need chains for the winter to operate this thing. Cause last year, I didn't really operate it. I had the snowblower on the front, but didn't ha I didn't have time to operate because, you know, it, it just wasn't working. You know, it was the thing wasn't functional. And then here's the old gearbox. I, I haven't cleaned my garage, but I worked on things in a while. But this is my old gearbox, if you're curious. It's, all, it's messed up. Well, you can see it's chipped off and left some nasty marks in there and it, that's where it flung off and it slid and flung off. The gearbox is sitting like that. Yeah, it did some damage all right. So that'll be, I'll be just using that for bearings and stuff. But anyways, I got that all that done. And I haven't done anything to it. And there's my decks over there. Um, if you're curious, I keep all my parts all up here. This is all Cub Cadet stuff. There's all the parts I have. Everything I have for this tractor is in here, or this is an extra idler, idler pulley if I want to put it on. If it, something fails, I can just swap it on. Here's my decks. I got two decks. The original decks in the back. That's the original, original deck. And then this is not the original deck right there. This is the one I'm using currently that's in great shape. Spindles are all good on it. The only thing it's, it's, I hear starting to go is the idler pulley. Uh, other than that, everything's fine with this tractor, or the decks and everything. But really, I think uh, I'm just going to be using this tractor just to blow snow and mow some lawns in the summertime. Under the hood, same motor. <laughs> Kohler K-Series 241A. Now this, now, I'm getting kind of detailed and deep in this, but it's a 241A. These Kohlers, I did some research on it. These are great engines and all uh, equipment. I haven't had any issues with this Kohler. None. Um, you know, it runs good and it, drive, it drives good. I haven't had any major issues with this thing. Now, the carburetor, I had to clean once. The carburetor's back behind there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I mean, this is almost 60 years old. And this thing um, still runs great, still drives good, and it's fully functional. I mean, it's fully functional tractor. But anyways, I'm getting off track of myself. Um, but yeah, it's a brief, brief overview of this tractor, and I hope you guys enjoy my videos and um, what I try to just put um, some stuff out there that you know, not always that are on the internet, like these old Cup Cadet informational videos. There'll be a time, well, it'll be well, probably for a long time, but I want to do a restoration on this thing. I want to just go through it completely and restore this thing. And yeah, I want to do that, but um, it still has the original paint job. Nothing's changed in 1967, 1968, really. <coughs> but, um, it's still got that Kohler, Kohler sound to it. You know, it's a Kohler. Um, it's, um, I don't know. Let's fire it up. But yeah, it, it still runs good. Some this tractor likes to run in between. It doesn't really start in slow. It starts about right in the middle or halfway. 
No, it should start now. Okay, maybe a little bit more up like that. That's somewhere around halfway. She's kind of grumpy right now. Let's start a little, let's put it up a little bit more. Maybe put a little choke on it. It hasn't been running for a minute, probably for like 20 minutes. And it's cold off today too. The garage is pretty cold. That's that with the old Cub Cadet. Um, and I put a chain too. I had to put a different thing on there, a chain. There you go. It takes a little bit of muscle to get this thing up. It's about 200 pounds in the front, somewhere around there. But yeah, this thing, uh, it, it does good. You know what, you know what? I'm gonna stir it up again. I'll show you this thing turning here. Why not, why not?
guys have it. That was it running with the uh, snowblower on it. Runs good. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> and, uh, yep, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I didn't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to end it right here, guys. You guys take care and have a good day. And uh, see you next time when the snow is falling. And that will be my next video. All right.